Congratulations, good morning to all of you, and uh, welcome to the rational numbers concept. Uh, this is the last uh, class for the rational numbers. Okay, see so today we are going to discuss about um, how to convert uh, uh, rational numbers into decimal form. Okay, so very simple. For uh, converting rational numbers into the decimal form, we have to do division only. So, for example, I am taking so 20 by 5, I am taking and uh, 3 5 by and 3 and taking. And how to convert uh, these uh, numbers into decimal exponential, I am going to explain. For this, we have to do division. In division process, the denominator acts as a divisor and uh, the numerator acts as a uh, dividend. You know very well about it. This is the divisor. So 5 is the divisor and 20 is the dividend and 4, 5 is the 20. The remainder we are getting 0. So therefore, 20 by 5 we can write as a 4. Whereas coming to here, 5 by 3, 3 is the divisor, 5 is the dividend and 2 division. 1, 3 is the 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. But this is the smallest number, so keep points so that we can take 0. And 6, 3 is the 18. Again, to subtract, we get 2. And point is there, 0. Again, 6 times 18, we are getting 2. And again, you can take 0, 6 times and 18 and 2. And what do you observe here? Here keep on the remainder we are getting 2 and uh, how many times infinite, infinite times if you do division also uh, this uh, remainder will not get 0. So this type of numbers were how we have to do this 1.6 bar. Why bar? Bar means what? This is recurring. Recurring means repeating. So this these type of divisions are called non-terminating and repeating. This type of called non-terminating non terminating that means we are unable to get the remainder 0 and uh, repeating repeating in the sense the same number same digit is repeating again and again sometimes two numbers sometimes two digits three digits four digits also uh, they can repeat they are called non terminating and repeating and one more term are recurring recurring so this we have to uh, write under the bar so this is the decimal expansion of uh, no uh, numbers or uh, rational numbers. Simple. In while doing division, some rational numbers are terminating. Some rational numbers are non-terminating and repeating. And how to convert? So terminating easily can convert to by doing division. But non-terminating we have to do division so that you will understand. And uh, in this exercise, last exercise, we are going to discuss how to convert. Uh, decimal expansion is the p by q form. A rational form or p by q form. Rational form is what? The numbers are in the form of p by q, where p comma q are integers and q is not q not equal to zero. So they will do this type of decimal expansions, and we have to convert that decimal expansions into the p by q form. And how to do? We, uh, we will see in the exercise. Let us start our exercise. In case of uh, recurring, that means non terminating repeating, we have to discuss some points, some terminology. The first term is uh, period and second term periodicity and third term pure recurring and fourth term mixed recurring so these are the new words related to the non terminating and repeating so this is called on the non terminating non terminating and recurring recurring means repeating already we discussed it so first what is the meaning of a period say for example i am taking an example so here 3.181818 i'm wrong here what is repeating so we can write it as 3.182 bar so here what is repeating 18 the digits after decimal point we have to read it there are the digits we should not uh, read as 18 18 18 we have to read as 1 8 1 8 1 8 1 8 so here what digits are repeating 1 and 8 so that is called 1 and 8 is called period what digits which are repeating digits digits which are repeating or called which are recurring otherwise recurring or called period Okay, then what is the periodicity? The number of digits, how many digits are repeating here? Here, two digits are repeating 1 and 8. Yes, sir. 
so the number of digits so periodicity is to how many digits are putting so number of digits number of digits recurring this is comes under periodicity so period means the digits which are repeating and periodicity is number of digits which are recurring so next one q recurring q recurring means so after decimal point all digits are repeating then it is called the q recurring say for example this is the example after decimal point all digits are recurring 3.18 otherwise 7.127 127 127 and so on so we can write as 7.127 here after decimal point each and every digit repeating they are called q recurring so after decimal after decimal all digits recurring all digits recurring that type of uh, recurring are called pure recurring but sometimes mixed recurring is called say for example this is the example so 9.17878 78 and so on and 10.1345685685685 and so on so if you observe here here only 7 and 8 after decimal point 7 and 8 only repeating one is not repeating that is at least one digit is left over which are not repeating so we have to write it as 9.178 we have to write bar only for the number the digits which are recurring okay so only 7 and 8 only repeating so that uh, uh, this is the after decimal point at least one digit is not repeating then that type of recurring are called mixed recurring If you observe here, ten point one three four five six eight five six eight. That means five six eight only repeating. Five six eight, five six eight, five six eight. But here one no three four is not repeating. So this is called. Then we can write as ten point one three four five six eight four. So the digits which I wrote. Oh, With red pen, red uh, red inks, they are only repeating. So if you observe here, pure recurring after decimal point, each and every digit is repeating. But whereas here, at least one digit is not repeating, then these these type of things are called mixed recurring. So we have after decimal, after decimal, if at least. One digit is not repeating. One digit is not repeating. Is called mixed recurring. So this is the period. The digits which are repeating. Eighteen. One eight one eight one eight. Period is the number of digits which are repeating. Pure recurring. After decimal point, all digits are repeating. Three point one eight one eight one eight one eight. Mixed recurring. After decimal, at least one digit at most. Anything. Here, if you observe here, only one digit is not repeating. Here, three digits are not repeating. So these things are called oh, period to period state. All these concepts. The exercise one point three. The first question. And what is the question? Uh, express each of the following decimal in the p by q form. So how to convert in p by q form? I am taking the third question, third bit from this. So given that. One point one two three four one. So already you have learnt in seventh class in fractions and decimals concept to how to convert decimals into the fractions. You know very well. So first you have to in first step you have to write uh, that number with that uh, decimal point one double zero double zero one divided by instead of point two we have to take one and after. Decimal point. How many digits are there? You have to count those many digits. So one, two, three, four, five digits are there. So five zeros are you have to give. One, two, three, four, five. And this is the way you have to convert uh, this type of. Uh, uh, they are terminating, so that only easily can convert like this. How can I say these are terminating? Why? Because here there is no bar symbol. There are no dots at the end of the uh, number, so that. 
you can conclude that this is the terminating so this is the way you have to convert into p by p form here if there any calculation is possible cancellation is possible do cancellation but here there is no cancellation possible so that i'm leaving like this so, um, here we have to convert this recurring decimal into p by q form or rational form a rational form or fractional form or p by q form everything is same so how to convert this 0.57 into p by q form let us discuss for in first step what you have to do first you have to assume this given number as some variable x so let x equal to 0.575757 and so on so i am removing what and this is the equation 1 treat as equation 1 so now here what is periodicity you have to identify periodicity means the number of digits which are repeating after decimal point so here periodicity how many digits are repeating here periodicity periodicity is 2 why because two digits are repeating right so if the, here periodicity is 2 so multiply multiply equation 1 with uh, if periodicity is 2 you have to multiply with 100 If periodicity is one, you have to multiply with the ten. Periodicity is three, you have to multiply with the thousand. So number of uh, how many? What is the periodicity? Those many zeros after one, you have to write. And with that number, you have to multiply equation one on both sides. Multiply equation one with hundred on both sides. You have to multiply. Why? Because uh, this is an equation. So whatever the changes you are you are going to change, you have to change both sides. Left hand side and right hand side, so that you have to multiply it to hundred and both sides. So hundred into x. If you do multiplication, uh, any decimal number with the hundred, uh, what uh, you know, uh, what type of change it will come? Simply the two digits of the decimal point will come to the before decimal point. So that we can write it as fifty-seven point five seven five seven. Five seven and so on. We no need to worry here. Only three pairs are there. Here I'm writing four pairs. No need. Infinity times you can write five seven. So you can write not a problem. Why? Because here after this one point three pairs are there. So that one I'm taking here three pairs for subtracting. So this is the equation two. So next part you have to subtract equation two and equation one. So subtract equation. One from two, so from that means hundred x is equal to fifty seven point five seven five seven five seven and so on. Next year, what is the equation one? X is equal to zero point five seven five seven five seven and so on. So if we do subtraction minus, so first I'm doing subtraction this side. So and so on zero. After this one point, all digits will become zero. Seven and fun. Hundred x minus x ninety nine x is equal to fifty seven. So from this x equal to fifty seven by ninety nine. So first check is there any cal calculation possible or not? Fifty seven five plus seven. Uh, up, I'm applying three table right? because these two are not divisible by two. So that five plus seven is twelve. Yes, which is divisible by three. And nine plus nine eighteen, twelve, which is divisible by three. So that I'm three times and three times. One three is a three and twenty seven. Oh, uh, nine three is a twenty seven. So that nineteen by thirty three is the answer. This is the way you have to convert the two vector form. I'm repeating again. First, to assume the given number into as x, and this is equation one, and identify the period city. So if the period is this two, multiply equation one with hundred on both sides. If I multiply, two digits will come to the before decimal point, and this is equation two. And you have to subtract. Then you will get x equal to ninety nine x equal to this. And after decimal point, all digits will become zero. So no need to write. After point, all are zeros. No need to write. So that x equal to fifty seven by ninety nine. And if there any further calculation is possible, do that further calculation. And nineteen by thirty three. So this is the way we have to convert into, and we have one shortcut method also. So uh, I will explain the shortcut method. So shortcut method. The shortcut method is uh, only used for uh, computer exams. So in shortcut method, the step number one: first to write the number without decimal point. Fifty seven. 
right minus. So now write the digits which are not under the bar. Here what are the digits? Only 0 is not under the bar. So write 0. By how many digits are repeating? 2 digits are repeating. So in denominator write it 2 nines. I am repeating again. First write the number without a decimal point. 0, 5, 7 or 5, 7 both are 7. So that is I wrote 57. And minus then now digits which are not under the bar. 0. So write 0. And what is the periodicity? 2. So 2 nines you are right. If the 3 is periodicity, 3 nines. So 57 minus 0, 57 by 99. So now you can 57 by 99. So 3 table 19 times and 33 times. So 19 by 33 you will get. So just use this for only for base point of view and complete exam point of view. Okay. So this uh, not at all. So dear students, see this question. Third, the second question, third bit. Given that 0 0.729 bar. This is mixed recurring rate. We discussed what is mixed recurring. After a different point, at least one digit is not repeating. It is mixed recurring. And how to convert this mixed recurring into PBQ form? Okay. See, first step as is well, let the given number assume as let x equal to 0 0.729, 29, 29 and so on this is equation 1 second step also same only what is the periodicity 2 we have to multiply with 100 so here periodicity is 2 so multiply equation 1 with 100 on both sides both sides. So 100 into x, 100x is equal to 729. Sorry, 72 will come outside. 72.929 29 and here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I am writing one more pair. Make sure after decimal point the so same number of digits available. Okay. So equation 2 minus equation 1 do. What is equation 2? 100 x equal to 72.929929 and so on. And here x equal to 0 point and 7 to 9 to 9. 2, 9 and so on and we are doing division so while we are doing division 0 0 0 0 0 0 but here 9 minus 7 is 2 point 2 7 and 100 x minus x is 99 x but if you observe after point also one digit is available here so that 99 x equal to I am writing 99 x equal to 72.2 and send x equal to 72.2 by 99 so coming to here so x equal to 72.9 so 72 9 minus 7 is 2 right okay 72.2 by 99 by 99 okay simple but if you observe here one thing you have to observe here what you have to observe here this is not at all pvq form why because ratio number definition they are not they are in pvq form and p comma q should belong to the integers but 72.2 is not integer it is decimal number so we have to eliminate uh, that point so to eliminate the point we have to multiply with 10 why we have to multiply with 10? Only one digit is left over after decimal point. So if you do multiply with the 10, that one digit will come to the before decimal point. So that only multiply with the 10. So x equal to 72.2 10, 722 by 99. And check once, is there any calculation possible or not? So 7 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 11, no. It is not at all divisible. There is no further calculation. So this is the answer for this question. So 990 and a shortcut method for this question. 
शॉर्ट कट मतलब सिंपल फर्स्ट राइट द नंबर विदाउट डिसन पॉइंट सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस राइट द डिजिट्स विच आर नॉट अंडर द बॉर्ड जीरो एंड सेवन जीरो सेवन इज नथिंग बट सेवन सो सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय व्हाट इज द पीरियड सिटी टू सो टू नाइन सी हार्ड टू राइट एंड वन मोर इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट हियर इन मिक्सड ओनली फॉर मिक्सड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू आफ्टर डिसन पॉइंट हाउ मेनी डिजिट्स आर नॉट रिपीटिंग वन डिजिट इज नॉट रिपीटिंग सो हाउ मेनी डिजिट्स आर नॉट रिपीटिंग दोस मेनी जीरोस यू हैव टू राइट so one digit is not repeating one zero now do subtraction 729 minus 7 722 by 990 uh, actually here 99 to 990 yes here two divisible so 722 32 6 again 62 12 10 and here 42 8 92 18 52 so answer 361 by 495 and here also same 361 times and 495 times so 361 by 495 is the answer so this is the way shortcut method i am repeating again first write the number with a decimal point so minus how many digits are not under the bar two digits 0 and 7 0 7 is 7 only by period series 2 two nines Out of decimal point to non-terminating digits one, so one zero. Then do cancellation. That's enough. Third question, second beta. Under the given, uh, first I'm writing given information. They are given that x plus y divided by x minus y. And uh, they given x value and y value. The first two bit I will explain because minus is there, so that all first bit I will explain. And x equal to five by two, y equal to minus five by two. X equal to five by two, y equal to minus three by four. Minus three by four. Okay, see. Simple. First substitute in the given uh, x and y places. So first I am using this bracket. Five by two plus y value minus three by four. So minus and plus uh, they are side by side, so that only I used the small bracket divided by again x value five by two minus y value minus three by four. Yes. So now according to the board method, we have to solve inside the bracket first. So five by two plus into minus minus three by four divided by five by two. Minus into minus so plus so three by four. Now we have to here we have to do subtraction. Here we have to do addition. So I'm using LCM method. So two one four LCM of four directly we can say how the only two numbers are there. One number is the smallest number is the factor of the biggest number. In these conditions, biggest number is LCM of smallest number is HCF. We no need to do okay. So here four is the LCM and the first step this four by what is the denominator here two four by two is two. This two into what is the numerator here five two into five minus and second here four four by four this is the LCM four and this is the denominator four four by four equal to one and one into three we have to one divided by and here also the same two one four LCM is four and four by two is two two into five and plus is there here next four by four one one into three one into three only. So see now coming to calculation inside bracket on still so ten no minus three by four divided by two five is ten plus three by four so do ten minus three is seven divided by four divided by thirteen divided by four if you observe this is the division of fractions so how to do division of fractions simple. First fraction don't change and convert division into multiplication and it will become four by thirteen. And denominator denominator four four gets cancelled. The answer is seven by thirteen. And this is the we have to do. And uh, the second bit we have to do one more one. So students and uh, this is the fifth question. Once uh, look at the question. If two by five of a number, some number we don't know what is the number. And if two by five of a number exceeds that means more than. One by seven of the same number by thirty-six. Then find the number. So first solution. 
it's very important on algebra and ratio numbers combination question this is so let the required number be x let required number b x okay so 2 by 5 of a number means what 2 by 5 of a number is equal to 2 by 5 of a number is equal to 2 by 5 of x of means multiplication and 2x by 5 it will become okay next 1 by 7 of a number yeah 1 by 7 of a number here x and here x equal to 1 by 7 of x that equal to x by 7 that means only this is numerator only you have to multiply you should not multiply the denominator okay so now according to question from the question we can convert the question according to question so 2 by 5 a number what is that 2 by 5 2 x by 5 exceeds 1 by 7 of a number 1 by 7 of a number x by 7 exceeds means plus so 2 by 5 a number exceeds 1 by 7 of a number by 36 how much more 36 more so 36 and just separate variables and constants 2x by 5 and plus x by 7 by 10 minus x by 7 is equal to 36 and 5 and 7 LCM simple 5 and 7 LCM both are prime numbers multiplication 35 is LCM and 7 into 2x 14x minus 5 into x 5x equal to 36 this is cross multiplication process if you LCM process you will get that only 14x minus 9 5x 9x so 9x by 35 is equal to 36 and uh, I want uh, we have to find the x value so remain all values on that side 9x is equal to 36 into 35 and from this x equal to 36 into 35 by 9 so 9 in 36 4 times and x equal to 4 into 35 if you do multiplication this value is, will become 1 for 3 so this is the answer for this question simple converting question uh, frame and equation from the question that's the important part the remaining everything is calculation only um, dear students some questions i want to give homework for you um, and uh, i will explain how to do this uh, that, that, that questions and you have to try on your own so the question number six two pieces of lens two three by five meters that means uh, uh, this is the total length say for example the total length is 11 meters long and two pieces this is first piece this is second piece this is first piece this is second piece this is third piece and the length of the first piece is 2 3 by 5 meters and the length of the second piece 3 3 by 10 meters and we have to find out what is the length of this one this will become x so this 2 3 by 5 meters plus 3 3 by 10 meters plus x meters is equal to total length 11 and first convert 2 5 is 10 10 plus 3 13 by 5 and converting mixed batch into the improper fraction plus 3 times 30 plus 3 33 by 10 plus x is equal to 11 add these two and send that side and do calculation so that you will get the length of this output and it's just only additions and subtractions only okay so that you can do next question this is sixth question explanation Coming to the seventh question. Seventh question: The cost of seven two by three meters of cloth is twelve three by four. Find the cost per meter. This is unitary method. So the cost of that means you have to division twelve three by four by seven two by three. If you do division, so that you will get the answer. So next one: Find the area of a rectangular park which is eighteen three by five meters. Eighth question: Length given, which is eighteen three by five meters long. And the breadth equal to 8 to 2 by 3 meters breadth. So that finding area, area L into B formula, that means you have to multiply these two. First convert into improper fractions, then do multiplication. Multiplication is nothing but product of numerators with the product of denominators. We have discussed it in the earlier question. And I will explain what will the ninth question I will explain. And the tenth question is also simple. Uh, the 36 trousers of equal sizes can be stitched with 64 meters of cloth. What is the length of each cloth? That means 64 by 36 you have to do division. So that you will get the length of each one. And how much uh, of the length required for the trouser? What is the length of the sense? The quotient will become the length of the Next one, the 11th one, 0.3636 you have to return in simplest form of PYQ. 
and we have to to find the p plus q and we have to after finding the p by q form then we have to add the numerator and denominator and very important thing simplest form first do calculation if any calculations are available afterwards only you have to add that's very important point and i will explain um, that of ninth question so which is very important question so what number should minus 33 by 16 be divided by to get minus 11 by 4 so that number be again the same procedure let required number be required number be x see what number should minus 33 by 16 be divided that means according to question you can write it as minus 33 by 16 we are dividing we have to divide it to a number but that number is x if you do division this number this entire answer will become minus 11 by 4 the meaning of by to get in the sense the result of these two division is equal to minus 7 4 and here by 1 and minus 33 both sides negative and negative gets cancelled first point number 1 next 33 by 16 keep like this only and you make this as multiplication and it will become 1 by x is equal to 11 by 4 same 33 by 16 that's it 1 by x is equal to 11 by 4 it is multiplication so it will become division 33 by 16 so i am writing this symbol why because already here one division and here one division symbols are there so to reduce the confusion um, using this symbol so that 1 by x is equal to first 11 by 4 right as this and convert division into multiplication whenever you are converting division into multiplication you have to write the reciprocal of the second number okay. so 4 here 9 times and 11 here 3 times and here 11 here 3 times and 4 here 4 times sorry 4 for the 16 and 1 by x is equal to 4 by 3 and take reciprocal on both sides take reciprocal on both sides from this x by 1 x equal to 3 by 4 so the required number is 3 by 4 let us see ok students this is the entire chapter and what are the questions are given you have to do that questions in your class work and uh, do worksheets and do practice properly all the very best